Today we break down the favorite foods of one very special person. Dockers. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. On the last Naked Foods, we switched things up a little bit and tried a bunch of my dad's favorite foods across different price points. And was it fun? Yes. And it got me thinking, what are my parents' favorite foods? So I called my dad and uh, he didn't pick up like normal. So I called my mom and she told me the mythical crew had already called her and asked her about the same thing. Huh. So I changed the subject and we just talked about the weather for a while. So while I know what the weather is like in Fugue Arena right now, it's a little overcast. Uh, I still have no idea what my mom's favorite foods are. Uh, but if you did, can you imagine trying them across multiple price points? You know what, that sounds like a great idea. It's time for Naked Foods, Diane McLaughlin edition, Naked. The food, the food is what's naked. That sounded kind of weird. Don't give us any good mythical evening ideas, Rhett. <laughs> yeah. Today, you're gonna be tasting a lineup of Rhett's mom's favorite dishes at various price levels, low, mid, high, and fancy. You'll pick your favorite and I'll tell you where each one is from and how much it costs. By the end, you'll know how fancy your palates are when it comes to Mama Dye's favorites. But before we get started, she did want to introduce herself to everybody oh, who's watching. Good. Oh, great. Hi, I'm Rhett's mom, Diane, and I'm ready to share some of my favorite foods with you. <laughs> yeah, I love that woman. I love her too. Who's that man with her? Is that your dad's arm? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's my dad. That's my dad. My dad is her IT guy. Which means that he regularly calls someone else <laughs> to help with things. But it looks like they they, they figured that out. Anyway, looks like she's very re ready to go. It seems <laughs> like she didn't know it was video though. It seems like she was just do, doing like an audio thing. No, no, I told her that the kids when they do videos these days, they don't look directly into the camera. Okay. She yeah. did great. Yep. Let's get to the first one. All right, Mom, go ahead and tell us what we're gonna be eating first. One of my favorite foods is French fries. And I really like them because they're a comfort food and it have been a comfort food for all my life. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Mama Mom. Die. And listen. You're uh, so welcome. You don't really, you don't want the sun, uh, going right into the lens, because that can mess up a camera, but I think that might have just been overhead light. I don't know if that was the sun or not. I think that's just her glow, man. I listen, I love it. I love that woman. So let's start over here. These and you know what? are french fries. Here's the thing. I, knew, I know that she loves french fries, because she gets french fries a lot as her side, but I just wouldn't have immediately known it was her favorite food, but it's good to know, like, she's getting them as her, as her side all the time, because it's one of her favorite foods. It's a, it's, she loves it's fries. It's comforting to her. These are quite brown. But they're quite good. They're good. They got a good taste to them. These are a lot floppier and <laughs> yellower. That tastes like it was fried in soap. Oh, it really does. That is awful. Turbo, you frying stuff in soap? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why does it taste like soap? Sometimes just really, I think probably pre-frozen or they were frozen at some point. I don't know. Yeah. Now these look familiar. That's a McDonald's fry. Is it not? Mm-hmm. It's so special. It's a big one. Oh, garlic. These have some chive bits on them. Oh, mama, I like that one. Mm-hmm. They've got some skins on the ends. I don't know, let me try this again. That's a pretty good fry. But they're thicker. I know what I like. Three, two, one. Boom. Yeah, I I know I why those, you picked them. I love the garlic fries. Man. But this mm. right here, I mean, nice. fast food, fries, hand in hand. Link, you know, I agree with you because of course those are McDonald's fries. I know you That's love our them. our mid tier for four seventy nine. And Rhett, you're really kicking things off here because uh, it's time for a little. Fancy pants dance. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, hello, Michelle. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good to see you again. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. What the crap? What? 
Michelle, you know what? If I didn't know any better, I would say somebody was out to get you. No. What is that? Oh, that's nice. Very sweet. You should probably go hide. Hmm. If I had to do it again, I'd change my answer. Almost. You'd change it to the fancy fry? That's pretty good. You could have danced it's with from, us. It's from um, Castaway. We've been to Castaway. It's a oh, fancy place for great, $11. Great view of Burbank. View of Burbank. Oh, everybody loves it. And then starting from Rhett's side, our high price point art delicatessens for $9. And then the soapy ones were our low price point Walmart great value for two ninety eight. dollars yeah. Please tell me that Mama Di is going to tell us that these are cookies. Yeah. And chocolate chip cookies is my, that, those are my very favorite cookies. Um, I love all kinds, but I want it to be a really good chocolate chip cookie. So um, I will spend a little bit of extra money on those. <laughs> They're very good. And that's it. <laughs> She's she's, she's, she's always already done, she's already done with it. She's strong, and with that's it. I mean, y'all making me do this. Y'all getting getting chased to call me again. I mean, but it her her intro was very pertinent because she, she talked about how she she, she will go she'll go she'll go. A well, she you know what, Mama Di's always expensive. been like that. She's like you know sometimes you got to pay for a good a good good service, good good tastes. Now this is a little cookie, but it is good. That's a good little cookie. Hmm. Interesting. It's definitely not bad. Break that one in half. Now, this this one's one pretty, pretty this chewy one, as this well. This one looks powdery almost. That's, that's a sugary one. That's deceptively good too. They're both gooey, not crunchy, which is my preference. This one's got a big hump in the middle. Yeah, it does. Shaped like a, like a UA, what's a UFO called these days? A UAF? UAP? UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. Mm. Oh, they've got that salt on there. That's it. And they make it big in the middle so it doesn't overcook and you get the like. Mmm. Mm. Almost too much salt. Almost too much salt. This one's like a cake. I know. This one's got, um. look at that chocolate in the middle. Walnuts in it. Different types of chocolate. Mm. I don't need like chocolate chips in my chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> if I can prefer it. These are four really good cookies. Let me just say that right here. You can say that again. <laughs> These are four really good chocolate chip cookies. Let me just say that. Hmm. Mm. I love that salt. Mm. 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 All right. I'm ready. Three, two, one. I'm actually going for the little dad. The little dab of daddy mm. over here. I love okay, this is classic, nothing too fancy. This is too salty. This is too nutty. Yeah, you you picked the low uh price point, Nestle Toll House, 13 cents per cookie. Yeah. And Rhett. Can't beat it. Get those dancing shoes on. Again, again? <laughs> Just oh. like your mom. Hey. How you doing? Good to see you again. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? No. Did you? Is that a bear trap? Somebody has set a bear trap out for you. It's definitely intended for you. But I don't think it was intended for me. We can't leave those laying around, guys. Yeah, come on. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> what, what's going on around here? I'm starting just to, eating cookies, man. I'm starting to fear for Michelle's safety. So you and your mom both like to spend a little extra on the good things in life. Yeah, we, we're willing to pay more than 13 cents for our cookies. Well, so this is from Last Crumb, and I'm told that it's a company that does monthly cookie drops, and the cookie costs $11.66 for that one cookie. Okay. It's a yeah. good cookie, but dang. And then the other ones much. are mid-price point, and this is Fields, for three sixty nine per cookie, and then the last one is our high option stuffed cookie for six fifty per cookie. It's good. It's just they're trying a little too hard over there. Yep. Quick reminder: only a few weeks left to get our comic book. It's the second issue of Blood Oath, 
Rhett and Link versus Barbara and Jade, our dogs, and Jade the AI. Mm. You gotta join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by March 31st to get a load of this amazing Whoa. illustration and Whoa. enthralling. Don't show them too much! Scary story. They'll print out screenshots and make it, their own. <laughs> it's, it's a collector's item, you know? Mythicalsociety.com, get it. Okay, I'm ready for the next one. Yep. I really like my mashed potatoes or cream potatoes, as some people call them, uh, homemade, where you peel your own potatoes and boil them and season them because the ones that are in the box or in the sack are not as good to me. So that's why I like them. She's, Listen, is, she, is she over it a little bit? I, I, first of all, let me just make a few observations. Number one, she can make some great mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and she knows why she likes them. And she's not afraid to construct a meal that starts with fries and then hits mashed potatoes in the middle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's like we got two kinds of potatoes she, here. She could have she could have said her favorite foods were anything, but they're fries and mashed potatoes. Like and she, then a cookie. She, she she wasn't constructing a meal. She was basically saying, These are my favorite foods, y'all. Fries, chocolate okay. chip cookie, mashed potatoes. Out of the sack, what does she mean by that? I think there's a sack inside the box. Huh? Really? I think there's a if, there's a paper sack. There's a box and we should call it a bag. That, that's decent. Those are actually very good. And these right here? These are Wow. Are those garlic? They're garlified. They're so good and they're They make those taste bad and I thought Some, those were good. They got they're they're moist because they have like Sour cream or something in them. Yeah, there's. Yeah, because back here. I'm going back to those, huh? Now we're just in Boring Town. Going forward. I don't know. Maybe I was tasting the sack in number one. I don't know. Those taste instant. These aren't bad, but I think so there is. I think I'm tasting the sack here. Tasting the box there. Tasting the sack here. Tasting the garlic there. And finally. Hmm. Okay. Chunks of potato, uh, pieces That's good. of skin. Mm. None of these are horrible when isolated. You ever, did, you ever just you... just have just mashed potatoes for a meal? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three, two, one. Whoop. See, really that. You like those the most? It's just, it, it, whatever they put in it, like the butter or the garlic or whatever, I can't even taste tater. Bro, you just pick definitely the worst ones. No, no, no. The cheapest not, ones. No, those are the worst ones. I don't well, think you're right. You know what? Out. You know what? Link is consistent. Because uh, that's our low pr price point. <laughs> this is the box? From Ralph's. No, it's just from Ralph's. Okay. For $3.79. Yeah. Uh, and Rhett, you've chosen our high price point, the kitchen for $7.20. Mm. The ones that you blamed for being the low ones are on right side, on Rhett's side, are are fancy. These are fancy. Point. Yep, Flemings for fifteen dollars, and then the you ones on the opposite things. end are our mid price point Outback for four ninety nine. Outback's doing it right. Outback, they got a lot of good stuff. It, it was really a close call between these two. Here's the thing I'll say, just because I think that you, you know, we, again. We've established your palate. You like dog food. And this tastes like straight out of a box. Like, that. No, the last time no. that thing. Right, I think Ralph's uses real taters. Maybe it does, but like this right here, it's not good because they didn't season it enough, but it tastes more like fresh potatoes. I don't know, man. What can I do? You and your mom are in sync though, right? That's it, I'm done. Right. I'm kind of sad that I think this is the last Time we're gonna hear from your mom today. One of my favorite ice creams is chocolate peanut butter. And I really love it. Uh, and it's very expensive and it keeps, it keeps going up in price. But I do enjoy that once in a while. <laughs> you know what? So do we, Mama Dive. I thought she was getting emotional with that. Well, one. I mean, listen, I, this is the thing. We love chocolate peanut butter ice cream. We've established yep. that this is our favorite flavor. Yep. And now I realize that for me, it's genetic. How did you get it? I mean, I got a lot of stuff from your family. The only place I would eat bacon bits was at your house. 
Straight out of the bottle. So is it epigenetic? Is that what happened? Is like your DNA got uh, altered basically from just being around my family so much? I don't remember this being in your house growing up though. No, I don't. Was it? Oh look, I got all a big peanut butter ribbon right there. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, there's not that many chocolate peanut butter options on the market. I don't think any of these are gonna taste bad, right? And that's, that tastes good. That was good. This one looks like dark chocolate. So let me grab a little bit of that. Excuse me. Even if you don't get the ribbon, you can taste the peanut butter in it, which is nice. Hmm. That is darker. You had to take another bite? I want to get more peanut butter. Yeah, that one didn't have as it's much not as peanut creamy. butter in it. It's not as creamy as I want it to be. Yeah. This one looks like it's got some sort of a chunk happening. Is there hardness in there? Mm. Yes. That's more like- It's more of like a cookie and peanut butter. Is it not? The peanut butter tastes like oh, Butterfinger peanut go. butter. Some. It's good, but I don't- mm. Okay, it's not bad. It's something crunchy. What do I got here? And then this one. Let's dig for the ribbon. Dig for the ribbon. Mm. 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 Definitely got a strong ribbon in it. This is not easy, man. Yeah, okay, all right. I think I'm ready. I'm right. That's a great peanut butter. That's a great chocolate. That's a great ice cream choice. You have to give me a second here. Thanks, son, you're piling it on. I gotta get the ribbon. <clears throat> and every meal at night, they would drink Milk. That's called dinner. They would drink milk. <laughs> every so, every night meal. French fries, mm, taters, cookies, ice cream, and milk. That's what they would eat every night. Three, two, one. What bam? We agree. That's this one's so the good. best one. Yeah. Okay. You've both cho chosen our mid price option, which is Baskin Robbins. Really? Um, these are all pint prices. I'm going to give nine okay. ninety eight for a pint from Baskin Robbins. Yep. The next one is our fancy option, Ginger's Divine Ice Creams, fifteen ninety five. It's not, is it like a, got like an alter, alternative milk or something in there? No. It's not enough peanut so. butter and too much dark chocolate. It's not trying too hard. And then our high option, Cold Stone for twelve ninety nine. Decent. And lastly, our low option, Hagen dazs for four forty nine. Hagen dazs was good. Is, is the low? I almost chose it. Yeah, we could have gone there. So low in terms of price point. I, th I think you need to tell your mom that if she, is she watching? Oh yeah, she's watching this episode. Mama died. Hi mom. Hagen dazs go with that. It's cheaper. You know, if <clears throat> if, if whatever you're getting is going up in price too much. Here's the thing. Gotta help you, mom. You did amazing today. I mean. You, uh, the, the the camera quality has increased so significantly from the last time you made an appearance on the show. So good. And uh, I felt like we really connected with you today on a level that we often don't connect. Uh -huh. And uh, you've got incredible tastes and you've got in an incredible son. <laughs> that was a very sweet uh, ending message. The lowest possible Mama Die combined total was eleven thirty nine, and the highest was fifty three sixty one. Rat, your perfect Mama Die meal total was thirty nine eighty four, and Link, yours was eighteen sixty nine. Oh, I made out on the cheap, <laughs> <laughs> under twenty dollars. That's right. And you got fries and taters. I did. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. I'm done. <laughs> you know what time it is. I'm Lisa from Minneapolis, Minnesota, but this week I'm staying on McLaughlin Avenue in Los Angeles, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. She found my street. You been there? Uh, I've seen it. I have seen it. Oh, really? Uh, I think it's on the west side. Click the top link to watch us guess some special facts about birthdays and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Reminder, only a few weeks left. Join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual to get the Blood Oath comic book issue number two, mythicalsociety.com.